gentlemen, children of all ages, welcome to another Sunday session at Steam Savvy, the glorious, glorious Steam blockchain. Of course, we're on the face to the book. We got Rich, we got Scott, we got Jen, we're hanging out. We'll be joined by others throughout the evening, I'm sure of it. And Scott Wright shared the video. Thank you, Scott Wright. Absolutely, you're quite welcome, sir. So, um... I've kind of had a really interesting week. Uh, we, won't get, <laughs> we, won't, we won't get into it too much. Uh, yes, no say, details, please, John. We don't want those. <laughs> right. I'm just, I'm hurting. Let's put it that way. Uh, I, I've, I've been on this health kick because, of course, you know, as, as when you go to the doctor and the doctor says, hey, dude, like your blood pressure is sky high, you should probably lose some weight, intent, nudge, nudge. You kind of get this feeling of I got to get moving. So I started getting moving, let's say, on, on Monday, Tuesday. Uh, of course, I fell a little ill, uh, hurt myself, let's put it that way, where I'm not able to move. Uh, I can, I can uh, move my arms, but moving around leg-wise, it's kind of out of the question for the next couple of days. So I've kind of been in a rut, man. Even though I've been trying to be excited, pumped up, fired up for everything that's going on at Steam, with Steam, uh, the amazing prices of Steam over the weekend. Uh, just, uh, But it's tough, man. It's really, really tough. I'm still trucking and I'm still here. I just, there's so much going on. So many exciting things to go over. Uh, I have a list of things to go over and uh, I'll just, before, before we dive into it, let's do the round the table. How's everybody doing this week? We'll go Rich, we'll go Scott, we'll go Jen or whoever wants to go first. Hi guys. Hi John, how are you tonight, John? Good to see you. <laughs> You weren't in my show, so I had to have to come here to, to talk to you face to face. I, I apologize. Yeah, I, I miss the sports centers today. Not only as it's very it's excruciating to sit, um, but of course, my wife, uh, you know, five minutes before I'm about to jump on cam with you for like a minute, she's like, oh, the baby needs this, 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 this. And of course, as hurting as I am, I'm not going to make my eight month uh, pregnant wife uh go to the store so i was the bigger man and said you know what suck it up buttercup it's time to there you go that's what you gotta do yeah and and then i got back and i was like dude i can't sit down like i gotta i gotta sit here for about like 45 minutes and i'm like oh this is hurting so just how much i love you guys on facebook and on dtube and stuff just saying like i'm loving you guys because this is painful for me so feel sorry for me yeah okay maybe thanks hi rich hi jen how are you guys? This is the world's smallest record player playing right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Violin player. Yeah. Uh, don't feel the love as always. <laughs> okay. I'll get no, I get no sympathy from my wife. I won't get any sympathy from you guys either. I don't expect any. Yeah. Okay. What did you expect from us, John? Nothing, and that's okay. That's okay. Um, hi, Jen. How are you? Good. How you doing, John? Otherwise. Other than your pain and suffering over there, I'm I'm good. I, awesome. I'm, I'm holding on to the side of my desk and I'm white knuckled right now. <laughs> I don't think you guys understand. Rich does. Oh, before we went live, Rich said, "Oh, buddy, I know exactly what you're going through." <laughs> yeah. Oh, believe me, I've been through a lot of leg surgeries, so believe uh, me, I, I know, and I should shut up. Yeah. I should, like, be thankful that it's not that bad but it's, it's like you can see like, i'm a man so like man if we stub our toe it's like the end of the world you know we're the yeah. biggest whiners in the world and we don't feel well yes yeah, yeah. Like, well, yes, we're, when we when we have a pain when we have pain no matter where it is we're the biggest whiners in the world yes don't get me on my soapbox guys i love you all but wow yeah oh don't start <laughs> don't start <laughs> thomas what's going on welcome man welcome to the stream Welcome, Thomas, man. You got you to gotta join join the Steam blockchain, bro. So I tried to send Thomas, fun story. I tried to send Thomas probably about a year, two years ago, uh, a Starbucks gift certificate, and it never got to him. And I feel like horrible for it not getting there. Um, well, you I suck. I know. Damn you, United Postal Service. United States oh. Postal Service. Not US, USPS, United States USPS. Postal Service. That's, that's the union, right? Or, yes. Yeah? Okay. Right. Damn Canadians. Hey, we got our own. We got Canada Post up here, buddy, okay? And only in Canada Post will it take 20 weeks to get a mail from one end of the country. 
had the whole 20 weeks. I'll, I'll have you know you have a postal employee in this group. So you know what? Just stifle it. Okay, okay listen, I'm Canada Post different. Listen, I remember one, t- one time I went down to New York and I was hanging out with my buddies. And they might even stop by today. And, and I remember uh, I was with my buddy Joe. And he was, he, he was, he's like, dude, we got go to go to the postal office. And it's a Saturday. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, yeah, I got to go mail something. I'm like, the post office is open on the weekends? He's like, yeah. Yeah. Like, are you kidding me? In yeah, it's open on Saturdays. Yeah, I'm sure. One, week, one day a week. Yeah. Oh, anywho. Um, some post offices deliver mail on Sundays, too. Yes, so. we do. Yes, they do. See? And I mean, and up here, oh, anyways, I love Canada. It's so cold. Um, <laughs> how's yeah, how's your weather, John? <laughs> What's that, sir? How's your weather? It's actually sunny and above freezing today, so thank you very I'm much, Florida. That's okay. pretty good. Take that, Florida. Um, <laughs> nice try, guys. Yeah, I know. He's, he, both of you. You well, Reno is a little. Um, we are currently eighty degrees. In, in, in oh. like that, it's suppo- but see, you don't get a cookie for that. It's wow. supposed to be eighty degrees. <sighs> yes. No. Man, it, it, sucks. 80, it is 80 degrees here in Florida. Oh, <laughs> I wish. We're 43 every year. And Reno usually is nice. And, you know, it gets cold, but we don't get much down here in the valley. We've got more snow this year, and we're already out of our drought. So it's like, okay, we're not going to have to worry about a dry summer, apparently. <laughs> so we're kind of sick of the snow. Yeah. I'm gonna want to what is to what is this snow you speak of? I I don't know. I'm not familiar with it. God, don't make me fly over there. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me do it. <laughs> well, I did say you can slap me anytime you want to do, Jen. So I bet you're a reason for you down here and slap me. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I didn't chance to go awkward again. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what to say. I think. Like <laughs> Hi, let's let's talk about steam. <laughs> 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 I'm trying subject. to change, just change the subject. Shall Can you see how I'm trying to change the subject really quick? Um, yeah, no. Um, Steam's been interesting this weekend. It, it got as high as like 55 or 56 cents or something. It was pretty. I don't know. I don't even like. I don't even know what it's trading. At. I can look. It needs to slow down a little bit, don't you think, John? Yeah, I'll talk about that too. And I know Rich will agree with me on this. It's 53 right now, so. Yeah. You know, regardless of it's a lot better than 21 cents that it was a couple of, like a month and a half ago, right? And this is what's really interesting is that it's this boom. It's not really a boom, I guess. It's kind of just a uptick. Up yeah, upkick. It's not sitting beside Bitcoin. It is completely separate to the movement Bitcoin's making, which to me makes me smile from ear to ear because I think, and, and I'm sure Rich will agree with this because of the, the discussions me and, ha- me and him have had over the past year and a half about crypto. When other cryptocurrencies start breaking away from whatever Bitcoin does we do, we've got something good. And you're seeing that with Steam. And there's so much going on right now. State of the Daps just released their rankings today. Drug Wars is number one. It kicked Steam it off. So now we have number one most active DAP on the planet is Drug Wars. Number two is Steamit.com. Number five is Steam Monsters, and there's a bunch more in the top ten. I mean, we're just, there's so much excitement, so much activity, so much development, so much hype, so much promise. And it's just like, I'm sitting here pulling my hair out whatever hair I got left, um, basically going, how can I excite more people about this place? Now, Twitter is alive with the sound. The, the, the Twitter is alive with the sound of music. Like, that's my singing, right? I mean, it's Love just... That movie. It, sound of music, great, right? So, first of all, Nathan Mars is doing an... I gotta send this guy. I gotta send him the link, too, to, to come. Um, he's doing an amazing job like an amazing job on Twitter, firing Twitter up. Twitter, the, the, the crypto Twitter community is just, it's insane. I woke up to 123 notifications with my name mentioned in it overnight. I mean, that at the peak, at the peak of CTP, I might have got 10 mentions. Wow. Maybe. Maybe. 123 mentions overnight. 
Like it's just it's it's through the roof. It's it's through the roof with with Twitter with Twitter. So Twitter, I'm not concerned about. I get Twitter. Everybody here gets Twitter. We all understand Twitter. What we're talking right now is where I want to hit Facebook. This is just this massive potential of people that don't know about Steam yet. And people have heard me talk about it, and I'm sure they're sick of me talking about it, but I'd like to get your guys' input. Like, what would you guys think would be a better way? Um, it will, well, okay, so Thomas asks, this is a really good question. He says, is Steam better to own than Ripple? Okay, so this is my opinion, and then I'll love to hear like everybody else's, like Rich's too. Like, I'd, I'd love to hear, this is my opinion, Thomas. Steam, I can hold, right? And what do I mean by that? I mean, I use Steam to buy this this silver dollar, right? Or whatever it is, silver, whatever, an ounce, ounce of silver. It's an ounce of silver. I use Steam to buy this. Um, I'm using Steam to, pl to, to play the recording of this video. I'm going to be using Steam to upvote um, Jen's comments or blog post today or, or Scott's I've already uploaded Scott today, but when he gets it up on DTube, I'll upload him there too. I mean, it's Steam I can use. This is the thing. As an investment, personally me, because I believe in social media, I believe in the power of community, Steam is a no-brainer. XRP and Ripple, that's more of, like, I don't even know what to expect. That's a banker coin. I guess that's what they call them. Um, now, that being said, if, if anybody thinks that the banks are not going to get involved in crypto, crypto, <laughs> crypto, eh, crypto, you're smoking something. They're very much involved. They're doing their due diligence. They're setting up shop now. If you want to see how powerful uh, it will be, uh, news is that JP Morgan or something like that is getting into a stable coin or something like that. Facebook is looking into a stable coin. Uh, there's just, it, it's, it's coming. So betting on the banks, I think is always a good thing. I mean, I'm not one of those anti-bank people. I hate PayPal, but other than that, <laughs> I don't really have a problem with We all hate PayPal, but unfortunately it's, an, it's for me, it, I mean, I use PayPal to pay for my Zoom every month. I use PayPal to pay one or two bills that I pay on a monthly basis. And that's all I'm using it for at this point. Um, but what they did to you was just highway robbery, basically yeah. just highway robbery. And what's sick is that it's not just me. And this is the thing. I mean, um, there's loads of people, um, rich just disappeared. Rich, man, your, your camera. I'm scared when you're not here. I have problems, bro. I have problems. Also needed to. Um, yeah. So I'm just, I'm concerned that, um, a lot of people will get into Ripple and say, well, or they won't get into Ripple saying things like, well, it's a banker coin. I mean, so what? I mean, to me, it's like, I'm not, I'm not one of those guys that's like, I'm not anti Facebook. I love Facebook. I don't, I don't have this hatred on for other social media. I love Twitter. I love, but I love with steam is that I can get paid for creating my content. That's, that's what I love. I love that there's community there. There's people that are supporting each other. There's potential. Are you going to get rich doing stuff on Steam? No. But what happens if this 53 cent coin goes to five bucks? So my opinion is, is that you can mine Steam by creating content and engaging. Just like Thomas, like you're asking questions on Facebook right now. If this, watch this, like I'm going to give you a like right now, right? I liked your comment on my, on my stream here on Facebook. If I would have done that on Steam, you might have got five cents. I mean, this, that's the difference is that my likes are worth something in Steam. In a Steam environment, Jen's likes are worth something. Scott's likes are worth something. Rich's are too. It's just most people don't understand it. They think crypto and it's like, oh, Bitcoin and hackers and this and this and this. And it's like, no, Steam is community, man. Steam is people. So my opinion is to get in there, accumulate as much of this stuff as you can. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Nothing. Like it's, it's, I'm not, there's no sales pitch here. I don't have anything to buy. I mean, if you want to send me something, that's fine. I don't, I'm totally okay with that, Scott. I take a three XL in uh, Buffalo Bills here. So, you know, if you're, if, you know, just say. Why would I, mean, I wouldn't even consider buying you a Buffalo Bills. With, with Antonio Brown's face on it. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, the new Raider. Yes. The new Raider. Yeah. Business is booming. Call God. Uh, yeah, so. We had a nice long conversation, Ellie and I did, about, about Antonio Brown. So, yeah. I missed it. I'm going to watch it. Once I upload the video. Yes, please do. I can't wait to read that. It, it, read, watch it. It's going to be fun. So, yeah, Tom, sm- short, keeping it short and simple. <laughs> Get as much as you can because it's free. If you want to invest in Ripple, by, by all means. I mean, but Ripple costs money. Like, you got to spend money to get it. With Steam, you can actually start for free. I mean, you can get an account. Go to steamit.com right now. Get an account. If you're interested, you want an account, talk to me. Send me a note. I'll get. I'll set you up with an account on Steam Ninja right now. Right now, when I'm done, you'll be up and running in 15 minutes from now. So, there's, there's no excuse for anybody watching this. If you're interested in it, just drop me a line. That being said, I love Facebook. And I love Twitter and I, I love all social media because it's people and it allows us to be ourselves in front of people. That's my take on it. Scott, Jen. <laughs> well, um, did you want to go Scott or do you want no, to go ahead? Jen, you go first. Um, it's funny because I'm kind of new to the whole crypto and, um, theme community and the, what I've, I've been on there for about a month now, something like that. I mean, actively on a month. I think I signed up like last year, but I wasn't really active. And I came back and it, it's incredible how in just four weeks, the community has supported me and supported all my posts. Even they're just like little whatever posts. Um, and like John said, you can um, up, upvote comments and uh, comment on people's content and get paid for it. And it actually fires me personally up more because I feel like my content is worth something, if that makes sense. Um, not that I have to have people validate myself, but it's one of those things like I, I'll do a YouTube channel uh, video and I, you know, I upload it. I checked just for curiosity sake if I got any views on a few of them. No views. Even though I use the hashtag, do everything correctly, I go on to... Um, steam it or dtube and there's more views and more activity more engagement there than all everything else and it's, it's amazing what encouragement that does you know that makes you want to keep creating content and putting it out there because there's room for all types of content and that's the other thing i love you're i'm kind of all over the place i like to do videos sometimes i just did a blog post for the first time for whenever and it it allows me to feel like oh i can do this oh let me try this see what works and it's just amazing and i've made more followers on twitter and more friends on on the whole community so i'm all for it and i like john i wouldn't deter anybody from getting ripple i'm not real knowledgeable about that stuff so i wouldn't be the one to ask about that but with steam you're gonna get a whole lot more it's not just the coin or right, whatever you want to exactly. call it. The community and the content and, um, you know, actually, in a way, you kind of better yourself through it because it's freedom of expression. So that's my take on it. So, For sure. uh, it's totally worth it. I look at it from the social side more than anything else. Mm-hmm. And what I mean by that is it gives me a platform to, to promote my brand, meaning the sports nerd specifically. It allows me to, to, to make blog posts um, and just talk about, and, 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 and I've told you this, John, and you agree with me. My outlook on sports is a lot different. The only thing going on right now on Steam, as far as sports are concerned, is Steam Sports. Right. And I'm sorry, but they're terrible. They're, they're just awful. It's all NBA all the time. They do a one. They 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 post an audio clip once a day. They're they're not they're not inviting discussion. They're not getting engaged with the community. If you understand what I'm trying to say, right? And whereas I am, I have opinion. Um, whether it's you know the right opinion, the wrong opinion, it doesn't matter. My opinion is what I put into my posts, and I put a lot of a lot of thought, a lot of passion into my posts. Even though they're few and far between these days, it's still my 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 posts are my opinion. They're not just reporting what's going on. I also add my opinion as far as what I think of the trades or what I think of this going on or whatever's going on, whether it be football, baseball, basketball, hockey, whatever. 
Um, and I can engage the community. Now, granted, I need to be more active. I, I'd be the first one to admit it, okay? Um, because I find myself, when I get home from work, I'm tired, my brain hurts, I can't, I can't function. So I don't know if I, I can't actually come up with something. So I have to figure out a way to, to get myself motivated to just – put all that aside and motivate myself to post at least once a day. And I haven't done that, but I'm going to, I'm going to try it and, and find a way to get to that point. Um, but steam is, is, is for this. That's how I look at it, the social aspect, getting my, getting my name out there, getting my brand out there and whatever comes as a result of that, as far as in steam is concerned is a bonus. Right. Okay. I have a website, sportsnerd.us. Every time I post to Steam, I'm also posting to that website. But Steam pays me to post. Okay, I'm not giving up my website, but I'm using Steam for that for that, for that advantage as well. You know, okay. you should you should use uh, Steam Press. Is you you on a WordPress blog? I am on a WordPress blog. Yes. Dude, download the plugin Steam yeah. Press, and you'll get uploaded from Steam Press for for you post it on your blog, and it goes automatically to Steam. Now, my question with that is, and I was going to ask you this, right. I actually write out my posts in Open Live, Open, Open Live Writer, and then I upload that to my blog, to, to sportsnerd.us. Is it still going to go from the nerd, from, from my blog into Steam from that, from that point? That's, that's where I have an issue. As long as it's on WordPress and your plugin is active, it should post to Steam directly from your WordPress blog. Now, if you do that, you, you get to go on the curation trail for Steam Press. Steam Press, upvote, every time I do a post on my blog, I get a $2 upvote from Steam Press. Minimum. And that's at prices right now. It used yeah. to be, when I, when I first included Steam Press, it was like 6 bucks, 8 bucks an upvote from them. So it's, that's free money. I mean, and, right. you know, especially something with a sports twist to it. And this is, this is kind of what Jen was talking about, what I think is really important for people that are watching this going, okay, this is great. I mean, you guys are sitting there talking about blogging. Well, that's the best thing about Steam. You don't just have to be a blogger. And that's the, the, pre, the, the notion that Steam it is Steam, right, Rich? <laughs> it's like, it, that's not the case. Steam is the blockchain. It's the technology. Steam it is just an app on top of it. Just like when you're watching this replay, it's DTube is the app on top of Steam. Steam Press is an app on top of Steam. Busy.org is a, it's, it's an app on top of Steam. Drug War is an app on top of Steam. So all of these things, if you want to take pictures, you can do it with Epics. You want to, you want to write blogs, you do it with Busy or Steam it. You want to write blogs on WordPress, you do it with, with Steam Press. There's so many, and that's why I created Steam Savvy, because there's so much stuff. <laughs> there's so much stuff out there that people are probably just going, oh my gosh, like what's the difference? Like I asked someone today, I sent an email out. I was like, send me your Steam username and I will send you an SBI unit. Like I'm like, I, the, the title of the email was, I will pay you to talk to me. Like basically that's what I was trying to, <laughs> and it's depressing that only one person took me up on that. Sad. Um, but <laughs> the, the, the guy literally sent me an email and he's like, well, here, here's my email address, my username. So he sent me his Steam Savvy information, not his, because he, and this is what I mean. It's big. It's big and scary. And when you start throwing the word crypto in there, people go, oh my God, like, no, I don't want anything to do with it. So that's why I created Steam Savvy, to take you hand by hand, step by step. So Thomas, if you're listening, man, Steam Savvy is free. Go through the lessons. If you get stuck on anything, drop me a line. And I'm telling you, it's the most rewarding place you'll ever join you will love it and it will make unicorns smile. Hi, Rich. Well, and, and I have, right now I have, a, getting back to what I have, I actually installed a plugin called WordPress Steam, but that's not Steam Press. No, that's not Steam Press. It's okay. uh, Steam Press, uh, I'm pretty sure it's steampress.io, Steam. Well, I can actually add it from, 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 yeah, the yeah, yeah, from yeah. The you, you can add it from, um, yeah, you can add it from um, from WordPress. From WordPress, the, yeah, yeah, the plugins inside. Yeah, plugins, yeah. 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 Bird is killing me. Nice to me. Rich, okay, man, thanks. what's going on? You went to, you disappeared on me, man. I was asking you questions and stuff, and now are you back, man? Are you okay? Are you here? I am until one of my kids decides they need to ask me a question again. Nice. 
I have one of them that's getting married, and I have another one that's just kind of in la-la land, so, yeah. yeah. I'm 42. Uh, well, I'm going to be 42 next month, and I'm in la-la land to this day. Yeah, well, my son is. My son turns 40 this year, so, yeah. Oh. I, I still don't know what I'm going to be when I grow up, and I'm 42. I mean, I better I better start figuring this stuff out, huh? Like, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm leaning towards being an old hippie when I grow up, but. That's worth. Yeah. <laughs> You've done a good job so far. Yeah. You know, I've got to work on the beard a little bit, but, you know. Thanks for coming, Thomas. Appreciate it, man. You're welcome. Thanks for coming. We had I'm, I'm an old hippie that lives in Colorado and doesn't smoke pot. Go figure, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm trying to give away steam to people. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is a tough sell, man. This is what me and Rich talk about too every night. Like, holy it crap! Is, what do you got to do? You would think giving away money, basically. Yeah. Would you know? You would have people going, "Well, hell yeah!" No, you don't. You got to drag them in, screaming and hollering, and going, "Here, let me give you this," and then they're like, "No, you want me to do something?" Or, <laughs> yeah. Go to Discord and say hi. Yeah, literally. What's your right. what's your Steam username? Yeah, I'm gonna create another another Discord thing. I think I'm gonna I don't know what I'm gonna tallywhackers or something. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna call them, <laughs> but it's gonna be the people that actually join and and all they gotta do, literally, is say hi and they will be awarded a level, because we have so many people that won't even do that. I wonder That's what it is. Do you, think, do you think it's a do you think it's a steam thing or do you think it's just a just people are just unless it's like done for them people just don't want they don't care I think oh, some people are just they don't talk they don't you, you know i mean we used to have that problem in other things too and there's people there's some like all of us we're talkers we're out there we'll do it but yeah. there's so many people that are they're kind of afraid to say hello i don't know why I don't know if they think we're going to throw them to the wolves and make them go on video and <laughs> stream or something. I'm not sure. So. Yeah, and I'm going to call out some people. Look at the people in, in the Steam Savvy Discord that were in there posting every day with their Steam at links. Yeah. You know, come and upvote me, come and upvote me. And then when I changed it to where they had to say, hi, how are you? They didn't want to say hi anymore. Yeah. No, they left because it was too much effort to take 10 seconds out of their day and say anything, um, STFU, you know, whatever. I don't know, say something. That's the political, politically correct version of RT right there, yeah. Um, but you know, no, they couldn't do that because they were so worried about, I don't give a damn about you, I just want what I can get. And that I think is part of the problem. And until, until people realize that it's a two way street, you have to give a little to get a little. It's not going to work. Not the way it could. Well, I agree. Yeah, it's, it's, Rick, it's, Rick I mean, you know, look, at, look at uh Scott and, and Jen. I mean, they they it took them maybe what four days to get to the status to be able to post their links. I mean, yeah, they probably they, was like just a couple of days of conversation. And I, but, but I think that's what people don't understand. People think that they they go to Steam, they got to go and create massive content. Yeah. To, like this is why we're trying to increase engagement because all you got to do is say hi to people. Like literally, I and this this is good or bad depending on how you look at it. But like I upvote people that come to my blog and say, "Dear sir, good post." I don't. I obviously I'm not going to upvote them as much as you know, like Jen if she puts a really nice comment on but I'm still going to reward them. So all you literally have to do is come and say hi. That's it. Hell, I gave a gal an SBI unit on, on our, on our noob cast, not because she used the secret word, but because she put a, a quote from a guy that very few people have ever heard of, but just happened to fit right in with some of my research I'd done in my engineering degree. And, you know, so it's kind of like, hell yeah, boom, SBI on the way. Right. You know? um, it, it really is. You know, you can get 
you can get paid for and i have voted her comment too as well um you know so you know it, it's it's doesn't take much you don't you don't have to read really help post a quote and you might get an fbi unit who the hell knows <laughs> well, well i think the thing is that people um don't understand like you said they feel oh they're gonna call me out and i have to do all this massive stuff it's just it's like i have the field of dreams uh quote in my mind like if you build it they will come so basically yes. just with baby steps you don't have to do anything major i was nervous going on stream last week and i thought well what the hell i'll just do it and now it's no big deal it's just you gotta maybe step one step outside of your comfort zone eventually but it doesn't mean you have to do it the second you sign up it's just you go at your own pace you steam savvy get comfortable put your feet in the water and just go from there but and then say hello because you might need help you might need to ask a question and that way you're more comfortable in the discord community too. Well, you know there was a follow-up to field of dreams but that was one the major league baseball association sued him for for you know franchise and infringement and he didn't pay the property taxes and the proper permitting and they bulldozed his field so you know but <laughs> All right, John. I installed. Um, I installed it. Um, Steam Press. Yep. So when I make another post, I'll let you know if it if it works. Because like well, I said, you gotta, I, you gotta make sure you set it up right. You gotta. Set I did it set it up. I did set it. Posting keys and then everything. I did that. The, the tags yeah. and all that stuff too. Right? Yeah, I did all that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And once that's done, I'll when I, when I make another post, I'll see if it, I mean, if it posts, it should post right away from when I once I post the blog, it should post to steam right away as well so sure. we'll see if it works because i had to put the private posting key yep. is what they want me to put in there is that correct yep, yep. okay yep. all right so that's, all that's works. doing is just allowing it to post to your steam account for you okay all right so we'll we'll see how it goes and we'll we'll, we'll do a blog post tomorrow and see how it works yeah if i get upvoted two bucks each time I do that, I'm even, I'm, I'm happy with that shit. You know that. Yeah, I mean, it's, and you've got good quality content. I mean, if some people will throw that on and, you know, put a picture of their cat up and expect to get upvoted and, you know, it's not going to happen. I mean, it's got to be right. quality, you know, like, and, and you do a good job with your posts. Um, it's, there. it's awesome. I mean, I, I met both of the, the owners of it and creator of it in, in Krakow uh, in November. These guys, like literally this one guy is, is, a, is a rocket scientist. Like, I'm not joking. He gave up his job at like the European Space Agency to go full time in development of Steam Press. Nice. Yeah. I mean, these guys are cream of the crop, smart dudes, young dudes. They're only in their 20s, you know, and they're just just sharp, like really, really sharp. And they, they see like like we all believe like Steam, like WordPress is this perfect platform. I mean, it's just this perfect platform to cater for Steamians. Like go and attract WordPress bloggers onto the Steam blockchain just by this simple app. Like here's the plugin, like stupid simple. And they got they got really good healthy delegation and they're just crushing it. They got one of the best best applications on the, on the blockchain if you ask me. It just it's fantastic. So that's just again one aspect of Steam that really goes under the radar. I mean people are still so uh, it's Steam it, it's Steam it, it's Steam it. It's like no, it's more than that. And there's so, like, literally, this is why I'm saying affiliate marketers, especially all you guys on Facebook, you affiliate marketing gurus, you guys need to look at Steam because this is the blockchain that you can build. And when I say anything, I mean anything yes. else. You can create your own freaking token on this blockchain now. Um, eventually, some way, I'll figure out how to install Savvy tokens into Steam Savvy. It's like killing me, man. Like just, it's, it's my Achilles heel, man. Like, well, and John, you know this. I mean, for those people that watch this, that were in the other industry that you came out of, they're not going to do anything because they're just stupid. <laughs> okay, they're set in their ways, folks. They're set in their ways. Okay. Um, and you're not going to say, you're not going to name names, but I will, cause I don't give a flying hell. Okay. I it's something else I want to say, but something I won't, I won't say it. Ken Locatelli. Legacy. Oh, he's not. Ailing. Don't worry, man. 
all right? <laughs> all those guys are not on the blockchain, and they're going to miss out because they're too goddamn stubborn in their ways. This is why I'm on a freaking mountaintop screaming this steam stuff, man. Because it's but they're not listening to you, John. They listened to you for almost for over twenty years, but now you're saying this is the way to go, and they don't get that they're because they're, 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 they're going to get you out of their comfort zone. Because ah the, yes 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 the tea yes, yes, industry yes. is what they're used to and what they've always made their money from, but it's a dying industry. It is oh, di dying means that it's still got life. I don't think it's got any life. But this is, this is the problem. This is why we need change and why Steam represents this massive opportunity for people to really, really, really step out of their comfort zone. Yeah, and look. I, something that's going to be huge three to four years from now. I mean, we're just. Look, and, and I made a blog post yesterday that totally took me out of my comfort zone. Okay. I don't, I have not, I don't show emotion. I don't get, I don't get emotional. Um, I don't reveal a lot of my personal life, okay? But yesterday, I went deep because my relationship with my son is something that hurts me and burns me and, and just gets to me to this day because he'll be 25 next month, and I don't know my kid. I don't know him. And that's my fault, and I put myself out there. This This whole steam... Is, is getting me out of my comfort zone, okay? And I hate you, John Olson, because you're, you're the, you've been the trigger to get me going, okay? Bringing me into this, seeing what, it can, what the possibilities are down the road. It's, this is not something you get into to make money overnight. It's not gonna happen, okay? But... If you get involved and you get in the community and you create content, who knows what's going to happen? Well, it's like with you, Scott, like um, we actually both wrote very personal blog posts. Yes. And I had such a hard time starting. Like, it took me two days to write that post. It took me two days. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It took me, it was weird because. I was getting so frustrated because I wanted to get it out there. And I was like, I know I, I feel everything. I know what I want to say, but it just wouldn't come out. So it took me forever. And last night, or was it last night? The night before. It just, all of a sudden it clicked. And I think, honestly, having that platform to feel free to express myself, not be judged, but just put it out there. And it really gave me the courage to go out and, you know, say what I said in the blog and um, now I feel like more inspired because not all my posts are going to be that heavy but you know it, now I feel like okay I got I got over that mountain so now I can keep going and see what else I can do and go out of my comfort zone as well and I, it's so encouraging and I haven't felt that way for a long time I really haven't I don't know about you but I haven't <laughs> I've, so. I've talked about this before now you guys are talking blogging but I'm going to change it into the Let's say video career. I mean, we all upload to YouTube and yep. everything. We understand it. So this is the problem that content creators have if they're going to go the, the traditional YouTube route. So YouTube basically won't start considering you a partner and sharing the revenue unless you have a certain amount of subscribers and a certain amount of views. And then those people have to come back every day. They need to be subscribed, et cetera, et cetera. So Small creators have this mountain, this absolute massive mountain to climb if they want to get accepted as a creator or a streamer, let's say, on Twitch or, 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 a, or a video creator on YouTube. Small creators are not supported. They'll, they'll say they support, but let's be honest. YouTube isn't interested in small creators. They want Ninja. They want they want right. Nasty or whatever that guy's name. That's that's who they want because that's where the money comes. That's where the, the advertising dollars is. So along comes the Steam blockchain, and now we have these things like let's say DTube. DTube will you know they they scan now. It's not a guarantee. You don't you don't upload DTube expecting to get the DTube upvote. I mean it's you don't know. There's no rhyme or reason when you get it. You just could, Keep creating. 
but imagine a small creator is, is doing really cool stuff. They're doing a video like this or this and then this, and then they get an upvote from D2. What do you think that's going to do to that small creator? It's going to inspire them. It's going to go, you know what? I can do this. They look at YouTube and that's just a mountain that like, they're like, okay, well you need a certain amount of subscribers. Well, how do you get subscribers? Well, you got to put out good content. Okay. But if I don't, if I put out good content, how do I get good subscribers to, well, you got to grow and you get supported by things like D2. You get supported by things like the steam community. And that's where the wealth is. It's not the, listen, my upvote right now at current value is only worth 60 cents. I mean, it's not gonna, it's not gonna make or break you, but you got to remember steam's biggest benefit is that people get paid to like your stuff too. That is the, that is the, the, it's not just, I have to create content. I can go and curate content and get paid for it. This is the thing. So if you're not, if you're not, first of all, you have two ways of going about this. If you're a small creator, use the apps that are out there. Use the Vim.tv, use the DTube, use the Steam, use the Steam Press, use these apps that support small creators, but then start looking for stuff that you can curate. Because if, as long as you've got out of your little 15 steam power, you got a 50 to 100 steam power, whatever, you're getting paid to like other people's stuff. That, to me, is the game changer. It's not like the, the, the helping the small creators is fantastic. It's wonderful. I believe in it. But the big win to me is that I get, I get paid like 10 to 15 steam a week for liking other people's stuff. It doesn't cost me anything to like your guys' stuff. That's what people don't understand. It's not coming out of my pocket. It comes out of the rewards right. pool. The rewards pool is shared, but it's regenerated every 24 hours. I have, I have upvotes that get regenerated every 24 hours, depending on how much steam power I have. So if I give Jen or I give, uh, if I give Scott or I give Rich or anybody a 60 cent upvote, it doesn't come out of my pocket because I get it back in 24 hours. It's, they call me Dan said this on a blog post he did on, on Friday and he said it best. Where else can I give $1 in an upvote to 100 Venezuelans, nothing coming out of my pocket and then it regenerates the next day. You want to talk about real world change? That's real world change. That's not waiting on governments. That's not waiting on banks. That's not waiting on, on, on any centralized system to say, okay, this is good. This is what steam is. It is real revolution. It is real change. It is real empowerment to people to get paid for what their, their, their content they're putting out there. It's, it's for, for people to, to actually like one steam is one steam. It's just like a Bitcoin is a Bitcoin. A U.S. dollar might be worth more to you in the States than it is to me in Canada. But a Bitcoin is a Bitcoin. A Steam token is a Steam token. So that's why it's really powerful when I see someone from, let's say, um, some guy from Nigeria. Is like, I get lots of guys from Nigeria hitting me up on my, on my, on my, my content and stuff. I like, I like their comments. It's five cents. Five cents to me and you might buy a Bubblicious. Five cents to them might buy them a sandwich. That's the difference. We got to stop thinking dollar signs. We got to start going, I want to get steam. I want to accumulate as much as this stuff as I can, because I can do so much good when I get this stuff. So that's my speech. Thanks for listening. I'd like to applaud. I'd like to thank the Academy. for. <laughs> <laughs> that's real change, man. Everybody's talking about all we oh, we want to do this and we want to do this to the world. Get into steam and do something, man. Put your money where your mouth is. Everybody's Thank talking you. about change. Don't just talk about it on Facebook. I love you, Facebook. I love you, Facebook. Put it on steam where it's really going to make a difference because then you can take that upvotes and stuff that you get, flip it around and go upvote other people. And it doesn't cost you anything. In fact, it doesn't even come out of your own pocket when you upvote someone. How do people understand that? Yeah. It's complex. They're so used to, you know, the U.S. dollar. And I was too. It took me a little bit to warm up and figure it out. And then once I it clicked, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> that was pretty fascinating. I really think it has a 
amazing future out of it. I really do. You know, I think it's going to be mainstream eventually. That's my prediction. It's, it's real change, man. It's it's yeah. real change, and it's right now. And look, when and we went right into now. Steam, it was five bucks each. You know, it's been as high as eight. Um, Steam back dollars has been as high as seventeen bucks. Uh, I mean, it's we don't know where this stuff is going. Do I want it to go back up there? Yeah, I don't want it to go back up there too quick, though. I like right. slow and steady. I like slow and steady. Yeah. I, I, I like to. Well, I like to keep the because low. because if it goes too quickly, there's a chance it's going to the, the, the bottom will fall out too. So. Right. right. Yeah, it's a pump and dump, man. But right. it's, it's it's like it's like the dot com bubble and the and the, and the housing bubble in the U S. You know, in the early 2000s, if it goes too high too quick, the bottom can drop out and the value will go down. And it, it's it's it could be the, the market can crash. Yeah. You want steady, slow gains over a long period of time in order to establish stability. If that makes any sense. Oh, absolutely. And I have no, I have no market knowledge whatsoever. I just, I just. I just <laughs> <laughs> so it totally makes sense because it is uh yeah you need that stability because if it's if it's right. too volatile you know and things and Jen, you, you play the markets you're in the market world you you play that stuff okay and you know that if, if if something goes up too quickly you start getting concerned because maybe it's going too high too quick and you want to yeah. get it out as soon as possible and that's what causes the drop and that's what causes the bottom that's of the what we're getting out as soon as it gets too low. Yes. Yeah. And that's actually, in some cases, it can be correct, but most of the time, that's the worst thing to do, is yeah. to do it. And then everybody panics, oh my God, it's emotional yeah. trading. And that's yeah. the last thing I want to do. Panic but, selling? Yeah, panic selling, exactly. So that's not a good thing. So I think, yeah, a slow and steady is good because that gives a foundation. That's yeah. that's what I did all this year. I, I dollar cost average every every week, every couple of days. I was buying steam. If it was at four bucks, if it was at twenty cents, I just kept kept buying it. I kept buying it. Now I got almost thirteen thousand of these silly things, and oh. it's just it's I if, I'm swinging for the fences for this. I mean, <laughs> you know, it could all go to hell. Who knows? John but, is all in. I'm all in on steam, man, because it just, it makes so much sense to me. Like everything about it makes sense to me. No ICO. There was no hype launch. There was no, um, rah, rah. When it came online, there was people that were actually hating on it when it came online. Um, still people that hate on it. Did it get off the ground smoothly? Oh God, no. I mean, it was, it was horrible. There was, there was ninja mining and all sorts of stuff, but, it was brand new. And I don't think back then in 2016, they knew what the hell it was. I don't even think we still know what it is. That's right. what's so awesome about it. It's like, you, you can't do like what's what, what Thomas said earlier. He's like, well, what's a better investment? Is it, is it ripple or is it steam? Well, you can't do the things with ripple that you can do with steam. Exactly. But you can do the things with steam that you can do with ripple. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of yeah, sort of. I mean, it's a little bit more to it, but Steam. There's just so many applications to it. So many, and we're just getting started. So oh. it's my speech. It's gonna be a lot more. <laughs> oh, I could go on and on all day. Oh, I know, I know. And then it just, I'm looking at it. It's 49 minutes already, and then it's just like, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Are you holding you've actually managed to stay in your chair that long too. I'm impressed. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm. You know what? I was just thinking that, yeah. just when you were talking, I'm like, when I'm not thinking about it, it it's numbed. But now that you mentioned it, it's like I gotta uh, move, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, see, look what you did, Scott. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Oh, man. No, my fault. I'm sorry. Anywho, uh, that's what um, Steam does. It makes you forget the pain. Does. There you go. Uh, for those of you, first of all, those of you watching on D2, all comments. I know it's 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 an hour long. These things, and and a lot of people like make fun of me because they're so long. If you have watched all the way here, thank you. Make a comment in the comments below. I will upvote you as well as send you an SBI unit for your participation. 
I'm encouraging engagement. I would love it very much. Uh, but also, um, if you are watching this on Facebook and you are interested in Steam, let me tell you, just send me a private message, drop me a line, I will get you an account on Steam. I will pay for it myself because if I, if I send you to Steam it, you might get it in 24 hours, you might get it in 24 weeks, who knows. Let me know, I will get you an account, it will be set up in 15 minutes uh, and good to go and uh, you, there's no excuses. So I really wanna get you guys on the Steam blockchain if you're watching this, this replay. If you are on DTube, make sure you comment. I will upload your comment and send you an SBI. Of course, everybody here gets an SBI because you guys have dealt with my uh, my, my pain and suffering for a full 50 minutes Thank now. Thank you. <laughs> hey, that's no, awesome. I'm doing my best. I love her. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming. No Rich, next week is St. Patty's Day. We expect a new hat. Okay? Yeah. Seven days from today, in fact. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Next Sunday. Yep. So um, next Sunday is I may have to be away, yeah. but if I'm here, trust me, there will be a different hat. We want a hat. <laughs> we want a green hat. Ooh, fancy. Are you Irish, Richard? Hell no. I was born on a reservation. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Any Irish people? Here. <laughs> no Irish. I'm, I'm actually, uh, there weren't too many Irish people on the reservation, trust me. But, I, yeah. I'm, uh, I am, apparently. I'm Newfie. For, first and foremost, I'm Newfie. Monty, what's going on, man? We're just about to shut down, dude. Um, but if you watch the replay, you'll kind of uh, see what we're, we're talking about. And uh, if you're interested in joining the Steam blockchain, let me know. So you guys have a great week. Thank you guys for coming. Rich, Jen, Scott, uh, appreciate you guys very much. And we will get this uploaded. It will probably take about 45 minutes for me to render it and everything. And It's it's a process. It's Zoom it's a, is a pain, process. It's a pain in the yes. tuckers. It takes it's a while. It's a pain in the tuckers. Thank you, Rich. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, you're welcome. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>